Warszawa's Botatarasy with us is Red. He's uh, right now, he got tickets to the BlizzCon. Red, how do you feel with this situation right now? Oh, I'm, I'm really happy I made it. Um, I really wanted to go to BlizzCon, so, you know, I'm, I'm ecsta ecstatic about it. Uh, you yesterday first you won first match versus Tarson 2-1 then second match uh, versus Naniwa you won 2-1 and today you played uh, versus Torzain a and you won 2-0 it was easier to play today or it was like maybe better players yesterday what can you tell us um, honestly yesterday I was really really tired I still felt a jet lag from uh, coming from America I woke up at like 5 a.m and then you know drained myself with energy drinks uh, but I got a little bit sick because of the lightning and the heat and stuff so I I just feel much better today I think I played much better today than yesterday um, so y yeah I'm, today I'm feeling much better Could you tell us more about the games versus Torzain because it was like uh, you played all the, all two or both games uh, similar tactics but you all, all the times you are winning because of mistakes uh, from Torzain or because you are better? Um, well, the the Mutalis style is very strong. Um, I think he uh, failed to uh, put enough pressure on me early. Um, I played the Korean Terrence at uh, MLG last week, last weekend, so not too long ago. And the games were kind of similar, but the difference between Korean Terrence and uh, even the best European Terrence is pretty huge. Their multitasking is insane. They're always controlling the watchtowers and sending small groups of units everywhere on the map. So um, the big difference was that Thorzane just, I got my mutas and I kept him in his base. He couldn't really do much. Uh, but when I play the Koreans, they attack me all the time. I have to use my mutas to defend and I can never really start attacking them. And then they just, you know, out macro me. So I think uh, uh, Thorzane, uh, he, he's a good player, but he has to... Uh, find some ways to you keep attacking Zerk um, and after that he will do great. Okay, thank you and I will ask you more about your uh, visit, your trip to Korea you made a few years ago. You improved your skill in different game and now Naniwa and Torzain are going to Korea. There are a few players also from your team, from Team Liquid, who are or who were in Korea. Are you going, go b are you going back to Korea to train or not? Uh, I don't have any plans as of right now. Um, I believe there are two tournaments in Korea, though, uh, WCG and IS, ISEF or something like that. The qualification for those is later this month. So um, I will probably try to qualify. If I make it out there for a tournament, I might decide to stay for maybe a couple of weeks just to you know, grind the ladder and, and get my skills up. Uh, but other than that, I don't have any real uh, plans to go back. Uh, Naniwa said that it's very important to play with Korean because to play with Koreans because of their uh, their style, their attitude to game, and also you said with in this conversation that they are they multitasking is much better. So why not go to the Korean try train with them, getting better and better? Um, because I've already been there, and for me, uh, living with uh, with Koreans in a in a Korean house, a different culture not getting to speak English much or going out much or having any friends is just not something that makes me happy and if I'm not happy I'm not playing well I'm not playing a lot I don't feel like playing so uh, it's something I've tried before and unless I'm I, I feel like if I go to Korea again I need to be a hundred percent in a good mind state and happy with with everything to be able to actually perform there and make the most of it and right now um, I think I would be better off you know at home or uh, you know not in Korea you are following the match versus Tarson versus uh, Naniwa, probably. And what can you tell us more about the uh, performance of Naniwa, who is going to play Torzain, Torzain against Ter Terran? And which one are you expecting in your final? Um, I think um, Tar Torzain against Naniwa is about as evenly matched as you can get. I mean, they are both. Uh, Torzain is probably best uh, TVP outside of Korea and Naniwa is probably the best Protoss outside of Korea so they've played before in TSL as well and uh, I think it's going to be very close with some great games. And which one will you better see in your match? Would you like to see? Uh, I think I would prefer to play uh, Thorzane again. Um, uh, I think Naniwa is the hardest opponent for me in this tournament. My ZVP is not I, I don't know exactly what to do all the time. Uh, I still make many mistakes and 
and uh, end up with bad units and stuff like that. Like in the second game yesterday that I should have won. Um, so I'm hoping for Thursday, but you know. Oh, yeah, and one question about yesterday, because uh, it was in schedule uh, one match uh, we played this morning. Why you decided to drop this game, to don't play this game yesterday, but today morning? Uh, well, the schedule was uh, really delayed yesterday, so uh, the final would have been very late. And me and Thorzane were both very tired, so we just asked if we could play it this morning, and they agreed, so it was good. It was good, okay, thank you for the interview. Now you have a few seconds to your friends, family. Uh, well, thanks to my friends, family, and my girlfriend for supporting me so much. And uh, I'm happy I finally uh, won, some, won something. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome.